Hello, and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Cientier. I am Cientier. It is dark because we are in the Pokemon's Passage mission. Hmm. Fascinating, isn't it? Uh, you can support me at patreon.com slash Cientier, letting people know about the comment, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. You know, all the business that everybody says at the end of all of the YouTube videos, unless you've never seen one before where they've done that. In which case, um, like, there's different concepts of like, liking the video and commenting and sharing and subscribing to the channel and all that wonderful stuff that indicates to YouTube engagement with my content that makes them want to share it with everybody more. Anyway, here we have the Jack of Truths. We're ready to infiltrate Gandhara. Uh, this map is old and worn, but I can still make out most of it. Here, I marked all the necessary areas in your mission map. You can use it while you're on your mission. Cool. Uh, we, You have to have Margaret the Sly in order to do this one, but <laughs> excuse me. As you can see, I have her on my party, so not a big deal. Uh, we need to escort Margaret to the Gundaran treasure vaults to retrieve the diadem of Lady Glaive and free Cormier from the Corn Prison. So she's getting paid by getting this diadem or whatever. I don't I don't remember this mission. It's been a while. We are apparently in Corn and Disguises. We are disguised to look like a Corn Guard. Corn and Guard wearing Delzimer stuff. Remember our deal, Sun Spears. First we grab the diadem of Lady Glaive, then we rescue your precious Cormier. Uh, I'm just using the same build I was using last time because I liked it. Last I knew, the Cornyn stored the diadem in the vault, which is heavily guarded. I'll handle the guards when we get there. You just keep quiet and we'll be fine. Keep your eyes open for anything that might help cover our escape while we're in the fortress. Once we break Cormier out, we'll need every advantage we can get to escape from this rock. Yes, um, every advantage. Halt. Give your name and rank, soldier. This is restricted area. We're in General Kite's guard. We seek shelter and reassignment. Very well, soldier. But you can't just saunter in. This is a secure area. You'll need the password. Memorize it. You can't get into some areas without these numbers for verification. 2187. You got that? Uh, maybe? Okay, well, 2187. Cool. Um, I don't care about doing all the bonus stuff. The prisoners are over there. Their escape points are over there. Uh, vault's kind of over that way. Hey. Right. Uh, more prisoners. These Astanis seem to breed like rats. We caught this batch of sun spears sneaking into the fortress. I'm sure they want to rescue their precious Cormier. I don't have time to deal with this riffraff. You're heading towards the prison. Take them with you and keep them. Uh, and toss them in deep dark cell. Cool. We can pick up more prisoners. I don't really care. Um, okay, so I need to go talk to this vault master. The AI does not know how to path there. Um, maybe the best way to get where I'm trying to... I don't know. Up these stairs, I suppose. The demons spawn over there. Well, I mean, let's help them. Well, that was trivial. Here's the area where they perform the ritual at the end of Consulate Docks. Um, I think this area is really cool. Uh, more so before it gets wrecked like this. But, you know, it makes for a good screenshot, so I'm going to take one. Uh, let's see. Is this around this? No. Totally up these stairs. I like the original murals. I think I said that, actually. Uh, when we were doing the thing that I liked the the different murals. They have some really nice concept art for some of the mural type stuff. You there. General Bale sent me for the diadem of Lady Glaive. You'd better get it quick before he sends one of his pet demons instead. General ba Bale sent you? It must be for the ambush he's setting up. Here is the diadem. Make sure it doesn't fall into enemy hands. The general will be most pleased with your quick response. We'll be sure to keep the diadem from falling into the wrong hands. Margaret says, the stories about Bale must be closer to the truth than I thought if that little ruse works so well. Let's get it out of here before they get suspicious. Okay. I hear our soldiers will reach Fabi in just a few months. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Hi. Um... I wasn't notified of anyone that needed access besides the executioner. Unless you have the code, I'll have to clear it. So this right here is a reference to Star Wars. 
they were filming one of the Star Wars films under the uh, code name of Blue Harvest, if I recall. Uh, we have the password. It's 2187. Very good. We have to be careful. Those Astani are planning something. They want their precious commander back. But it's too late, anyway. Her hours are numbered. Praise Varish. Hail Korna. Uh, yes. I'm a Sunspear Castellan now. Cool. This is the rank just before Spear Marshal. Spear Marshal being the highest rank, which is the rank that uh, Cormir has. So that's gone up. Of course, I'm still spouting Mighty Lightbringer, but... Yeah, you know, you know how it goes. Hey, Shahai the Cunning. I remember you being significant somehow to the proceedings. Your time is almost up, Cormier. The Executioner is on his way here to take care of you and your friend. Looks like we're just in time. Let's move in before we're too late. Yes. Looks like you're just... In, uh, I don't know what that guy said. Whatever. Hi guys, how do you feel about sand? Actually, it's not sand, it's unsteady ground. Makes you fall over. Mm -hmm. It's working, working its magic, as it were. Hey, we did all we needed to do. Cormier, we're here to free you. Sister, you've come to the rescue. Sister, Shahai. Of course. You think I would leave my sister to the Tornans? Cormier, give me a moment. Night has fallen. At least for now. What happened? Our hosts were less than gracious. Varish's demon. Ditch these outfits. Now that we've sprung the prisoners, this place is going to be crawling with soldiers. Right, that's the reason we're ditching these outfits. Mm. I do wish there was more reason to put on certain timers. Uh, let's get out of here. We have boats waiting by the dock. We just need to get to them. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, uh hi. Cunning is a monk? I think that person would be a mesmer. Reads mesmer. We need to get to the point of escape over there. Okay. Uh, we got ourselves our lovely charge. We're probably going to run to the executioner on the bridge or some random business like that. It's going to be the best way to get to Well, a bunch of dudes just popped up. Okay, they got a healer going on, because that's... yeah, right there. He. I don't feel too concerned about the time limit, honestly. Uh, there's Lieutenant Nolly over there, but I don't think we need to go over that way. Yes, yes, walk into my, walk into my little trap, I guess. My weather. Or in steady ground. I keep misthinking of it as something other than what it is, but it is. I see you over there, priest. Man, having a few elementalist AoE spells on my bar is really nice. Oh, 
that's what's different. I put Hayda in my team. And Miku. Instead of Master of Whispers. Master of Whispers was doing a lot for our damage. Whoops. Oh well. We'll be fine. Bit of a blunder, but not like the worst blunder or anything. Hey, Guard Linko. There may have been stuff that I could have done coming up this way to like send guards different directions to make this easier. I don't know. General Kajo, I would appreciate if you would not do stuff for the next little little bit here. Okay, there's the priest. You're the one causing me difficulties. I would like you to stop doing that, please. It's amazing how much burning we've got going on. It really makes that surprisingly reliable. Ash Blast, I mean. Useful skill, that. Uh, there we go. We're actually really close to the docks. Um, yeah. Come on, everyone. Pull together now. Master of Whispers really was quite helpful for damage. But, oh well. Not much I can do about the fact that he's not here. We seem to be doing fine on damage anyway, as it is. Just standing outside aggro range, don't notice what's going on. Seems pretty typical. One of the nice things about, like, random in encounter RPGs is you don't just see the guy standing there not aggroing on you. No. Random thought. I think you can come down here and, like, talk to the gate guard, Linkus, and get some of the stuff cleared out and other things. It doesn't matter much to me, though. Yeah. Friggin' crazy knockdown stuff. Working charm. I likes it. There's a monk over there that I'm not attending to and is making this go slower. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's the priest. I need to get this one down, and then we will be in a good position for taking out the rest of them. Oh, hi, General Nebo. I didn't even notice you there. Apparently someone noticed you, though. Huh. Well, okay, then. I don't usually think of missing a, an elementalist boss as um, something that's not going to get you killed, but apparently not. Actually, as lethal as I would have thought. Very quick about it. 
about it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Aha, three or four optional objectives completed. If I'd done all of the optional objectives, it would have given me the masters, but I already had masters in it, so meh. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Madoc Carvis mission. I mean, it's okay. There's a reason why I don't have master there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rylan Refuge has not been done on this character. Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, let's see. Um, I know kind of how I want to approach that, actually. It's a little bit wonky. It requires me to have a me mesmer. The banana scythe is a cool idea, but kind of dumb. Okay. Um, the banana scythe would be much... It It's a scythe with... If the scythe head is a banana. I mean, I don't... What What else would it be? But the issue with it is it's not even anywhere near maximum damage. So it's kind of not great and just clutters up your inventory. It's a novelty weapon rather than being an actually good useful weapon, which is a little frustrating in my personal opinion. Uh, I actually need to withdraw funds. You might notice I have a lot less money. I bought the material merchant for my guild hall uh, because it seemed like it would be very convenient, and it is. So maybe someday I will acquire for myself a complete guild hall, but we shall see. Um, yeah, I think it's best if I go slash Mesmer. And spec and inspiration. Sure, that'll work. Um, so I'm going to do a weird thing. Actually, where do I need to go for this? I don't know. Are these... Sorry, I'm trying to remember where skill selling NPCs even are. Um, I know there's one here. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if the skill that I want is one that I can get here or not. Okay, it is. Mantra of Earth. Looking through to see if there's anything else that's immediately leaping out to me. is like, yeah, this would be a good purchase. Um, in general, I don't like the man... Like, the mantras are fine, but in general, they're, like, not something I'm super psyched about, but... Sometimes you get these specific missions where it's like, oh, yeah, this is a really good idea. This is one of those times. Um, so I'm going to just take a moment to kind of reform my party here. Uh, and obviously I want Talcora and Dunkoro. Um, I actually kind of want Ranger Palooza. Okay, maybe not Pyrofierce. Um, And then... Master of Whispers has to be in my party. Price ought to be in my party. And Datalon should definitely be in my party. Okay. 
Um, and I'm going to, you know what? I might as well bring teas and mantra of earth. That seems fine. There's an argument for cry of pain over a Surus scan specifically on this one. I think. Okay, well, these guys can keep doing whatever it is that they're doing. Um, yeah, no, not that. That's cute and all, but no. Uh, less wilderness survival, more just expertise, and marksmanship. Definitely broadhead arrow. Broadhead arrow is, is going to be your goal in life. Arrow, body shot. Margaret can continue to do this. This is fine. Um, actually, I can leave you with epidemic and mirror of just. It's fine. Margaret. I'm okay with doing this. Um, we're going to be fighting a lot of non-fleshy enemies, which make those skills kind of bad. I have to bring Master of Whispers with me. He's not my first choice. Um, let me go ahead and... MM with some RIT skills. Okay. So, um... Hmm. Yeah, he's just doing this normal thing he's doing. He's doing the normal thing he does, which is fine. Um, but as we have established, this is not a great place for minion mechanics. So let's just do um, this and run him as a discorder. Discord is pretty good. Uh, where's that's what I want somewhere around here it's an F um, rising bile is really worth bringing I think we've got conditions covered pretty well so he doesn't need to do anything to condition um Deathly Swarm is gonna hit pretty hard. There are some cornins. Uh, let's give them animate bone minions just for some extra oomph. And why not masochism? It's not a phrase you hear very often. Okay, you have missions, you kinda have uh, or hexes rather, excuse me. I think this should be okay. Mantra of Earth is going to make me a bit more durable is the idea. We shall see how this goes. The bonus for this is basically there's things that you can do to weaken the boss. And if you don't do those things, then that's the bonus. So I figure I might as well go for it. Let's run a little bit of a longer episode because I did a bunch of build work, which I figure is a little boring. Yep. Okay. The draw is a powerful enemy. Must do everything we can to weaken it, etc. Um, I don't feel like reading through all this plot. If you want to read the story, you can read the story. It's just there in the lower left-hand corner. Um, so there's these pump control levers. If you go through here without using any of the pump control levers, that's the bonus. And the boss um, will deal 50% more damage. Yep. That's the, the penalty. So that's why I'm bringing uh, interrupts and stuff. Uh, just as a way of dealing with it. Uh, or to help deal with it. And um, that's what the Rangers business is all about. Uh, I'm going to close that now because it takes up a bunch of space. And we need to go through the front door, which is over this way. I don't think this is going to come up a lot before we really get in there.
I mean, that's technically is an interrupt, but the facts really want Mesmer Hex to be useful. Um, Priest is our primary target. Oh, just did some AoE damage. That's always good. It's not really coming up yet. And I didn't kind of expect it to, quite frankly. Um, Daze is the best way to keep a caster shut down, though. So Broadhead Arrow is a really, really, really good way of keeping that going. I mean, I have my own ways of doing it as a Paragon. That's one of the things that Paragons are vaguely better at. Is keeping days going, but theoretically, though, because we're skipping a bunch of stuff, just get to the boss. It should make this vaguely a little bit more, a little bit quicker. We shall see how accurate that um, hypothesis is. Okay. Well, they just went down. Probably went a little overboard with some of those build choices I made. Oh well. Ah, uh, yeah. She's explaining some of this stuff to us about how the levers work. Uh, I have decided that we are going to not turn off the pump levers. And we are, in fact, going to um, yeah, do the bonus is my plan. A little focus on the game. Part of why I want to do the change up that I mentioned in a previous episode where I do post commentary over Guild Wars. That way I can have more interesting post commentary about subjects that I want to talk about other than just Guild Wars, which is a subject I do enjoy talking about because I like it, but. Yeah, did it right for a change. Bowman! Aha! I came prepared. Hi, agents of, Agent of Whispers. Uh, yeah. See, if you don't fight the things, then you're... you ignore the fight here, 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 and here. So it's just kind of like, and the one right there. So it's just kind of a straight shot to kill the boss. Um, so. Let's go to the right. That feels vaguely less filled with enemies. I don't know. We'll see if I can manage to slip through without having to fight. Yeah, I can. Just right around this corner here. Fewer enemies I have to fight, the better, in my personal opinion. No Zealous Benediction. Oh, yeah, that's just straight days or something going on. These minions are just expressly... Expressly expendable. Okay. So the droughtlings are deadly. Um, again, though, we're in normal mode, so I'm not too worried. Uh, the drought lies beyond the store. Yep, that's nice. 
Be warned, the reservoir brims with corrupted spawns of the drought. Yep. Whispers, you are too late. I will consume the Elon. Talking about consuming this river. Um, right here, I assume. All right, we're going to need to get our way through these droughtlings, but it won't be activating the pump control. Didn't really want to fight these guys, but we aggroed them, so here we are. I will collect this Falchon. Uh, I'm going to actually pin my guys over there for just a moment. I didn't want them to accidentally aggro the other stuff. Yeah, that would have hurt a lot more had I not. As you can kind of see by the damage being done to my heroes. Wow. I mean, we got the drought. Is that all that was needed? Apparently not. Well, good thing I had that scroll of resurrection. Saved the mission right at the end. And that's the same. We're going to see a very similar cutscene here. Poke it twice and slap it. Good old poke it twice and slap it method. So that's kind of the two branching paths there and the sort of two options you have. Mastery's reward is nice to get. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this episode to a close and probably the dialogue uh, up because I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like dialogue volume has been a bit low. So anyway, uh, until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.